Welcome Taurus. This is going to be your next 48 hours. So if this resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Okay. I pulled the cards already to save some time. So we'll get right into it. In your past energies, we have, if I can reach the card, there we go. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so you may be having new feelings for someone. This may be someone new who's coming in. Uh, it may be something that's regenerized or feeling renewed. We do have the judgment card. So I feel like you are awake. You are waking up to some sort of situation. There's something that you're making a final decision in. There's some kind of wake up call you're going through. Some kind of feeling of renewal, right? Having that uh, renewed faith in something. So it could be a love that's coming back. Because, excuse me. Because we do have this no place like home here in the current situation. Okay, but we do have the Page of Cups. So I feel like someone's making an offer to you. Someone is bringing in an offer that you're very curious about. I feel like someone has been watching you. Um, they may be keeping tabs on you, Taurus. And I feel like, you know, they're making the move, right? Um, so whether you're going to take this offer or not, I'm not sure. Because we do have the Five of Pentacles as the center of your energy so i feel like you're lacking the confidence or you feel like something is lacking in the situation like it just doesn't feel right there's some reason that you're holding yourself back you're having your your guards up you're being surrounded by the lessons you've learned so this may be someone who has burned you in the past who is now ready to re-explore the situation with you, right? They're, they're wanting to come back. They're wanting you to give them a second chance because I feel like Taurus, your guards are up. You know, you're protecting yourself. You're not moving. You're, you're like standing still. You're, you're caught all up in your emotions and your feelings. Um, but you're taking a look while you're being bound. While you're holding back, you're taking a look at the past challenges, obstacles. You know, the past things that you've been through. And they're like surrounding you. They're holding you back from moving. Okay? So I feel like maybe something that you've been through in the past with this person is like holding you back. It's making you feel like, you know, you're not confident enough to move forward with this person. Right? But we do have a King of Cups here. So this King of Cups energy, I feel like this is different. This is different from that person coming back. You know, this person is very caring, very giving. Okay? This person who's coming with this King of Cups energy could be male or female. But, you know, we're moving up here into change. You know, this is progression. This is a turning point. Okay? So I feel like this King of Cups energy is like giving you this good vibration. They're making you feel out of lack. Into, you know, feeling abundant. Feeling confident. Feeling worthy. Right? And here at the top here for the future. For the next 48 hours. We have overcoming difficulties. Archangel Jeremel. So the worst is now behind you. You are surmounting any previous challenges. So I feel like you were holding yourself back with those challenges from the past for a reason. Because maybe you didn't want to go to that place again. Right? So you're overcoming those challenges within the, the next 48 hours. Things are looking up. You're, you're feeling more happy. You're in a better headspace. You're feeling more confident. Because things are turn, starting to turn around. You know, you're getting a different viewpoint. You're making healthy changes. And this is a turning point. So this is good fortune coming into you. And I feel like this King of Cups here has something to do with that. Because you're in healing. 
you're putting yourself first you're putting your needs first right so let's get some clarity for these cards give me more messages what do we have for the judgment page of cups page of swords Okay, so for the judgment, we have the temperance, definitely. For the page of cups, we have the four of cups. And for the page of swords, we have the ten of swords in reverse, right? So I, I feel like, you know, you're going through this healing. You're taking time. You're finding that patience. You're, you're persevering through the situation. There's something that you made, you had to make a final decision about right but you're going on you're persevering you're finding that gift that may have been a blessing that's coming out of this situation right you have angel protection with this page of with this page of cups you have the four of cups now this is the after tarot so he's being offered this cup so whatever offer this was I feel like you're pouring it out. You're not accepting it. You're like, nope, I don't have time for it. Nope, I'm not going there, you know? So I feel like whatever this offer is from this Page of Cups, I feel like you're pouring it out. You're refusing it. You're letting it go, right? And I feel like with this Page of Swords, some kind of curiosity is ending, you know? But I feel like this person is still going to have eyes on you. They're still going to have tabs on you. They're, they're still going to kind of be that stalkerish person in the background. Right? I don't think that, they've, that they're going to let go very easily. Okay? And with the Eight of Swords. With this Eight of Swords we have. The Empress. Beautiful. So you're coming into your own. You're taking more control. The Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Oh my goodness. Beautiful energy, Taurus. So you're going from the Eight of Swords to the Empress. You're gaining your confidence. You know those lessons that you learned were holding you back for a reason. Because now you're in your power, right? There's something that you denied, that you refused, that you were like, nope, I'm not going to go there. You know, it may be this person that was trying to come back, but you are the empress. You're in your power, right? And with the five of pentacles, we're going to the two of pentacles. So these are choices and options that you, you are making. You know, you're choosing to not feel in lack. You're making yourself a priority. You know, you're prioritizing the things that are important to you, the things that make you feel good. With the King of Cups, we have this Nine of Cups. So I feel like this King of Cups energy, this could definitely bring in a lot of happiness, a lot of goodness, you know, having everything that you need, something that you wished for. Okay, this is a wish being fulfilled with this King of Cups energy, okay? Tell me more about the sun, the will of fortune, and the star. Give me a message, please. Okay, the Knight of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Page of Cups, okay? At the bottom, we have the Six of Wands. So something is making you very successful. You have your victory. You know, you're being seen. You're being noticed for the things that you've done. Your work is being acknowledged, right? You are success. You have your victory. Okay, with the Sun, we have the, the Knight of Swords, right? So this is being happy at all costs, right? Winning at all costs, not backing down, having that victory. So I feel like your happiness is a victory for you, right? And the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups, there's something that is pushing you to a turning point, but it may be 
actually helping you get through past energies. You know, the past is always going to be there, but we can choose where we place it. We can choose how we react to it, right? And I feel like you're choosing to react in a positive way. You know, even if everything that you've been through in the past wasn't so positive, I feel like you're looking at it as a lesson, as something that you've learned, right? With this healing, with the star, we have the Page of Cups. So there, where you refused this um, offer here with this Page of Cups, I feel like this Page of Cups is from this king, right? This king is offering you something. This king is giving you some kind of invitation, some kind of offer of love. They could be giving you their cup, you know, but it's only after this time of healing. You know, they want to see you in a better place, in a, a good headspace. This king doesn't mean you any harm. They have good intentions, right? So they want, they want the best for you. They want to see you as your best self. So I feel like this king has a lot of patience. Okay, let's get some messages for Taurus. What's coming out in love for Taurus? What messages are coming out for love in Taurus? Next 48 hours, please. Okay, so we have keys on a ring. Having many options, making decisions. Um, maybe a one night stand, you know, um, we have the ax. There's going to be some kind of breakup, some kind of separation. There's going to be someone that you're letting go of that you're cutting loose, right? Someone that you're giving the silent treatment. Maybe you're blocking someone. Okay. And we also have the butterfly. So there's big changes happening for you, Taurus. There's something happening in yourself and in your relationship that is evolving you. You're growing. You're changing. You may be also healing that inner child, you know, but you're going to the next phase. With this Wheel of Fortune energy, you're going to the next phase of things. Um, so that's beautiful energy. Okay, let's go ahead and get your angel number, Taurus. The angel number that you have for Taurus, please. We have 911 Courage. A doorway has opened for you, and while apprehension may be felt, allow courage to flow in as you put your best foot forward. You are being encouraged to let curiosity lead you. And know that the divine has your back. Okay? Your affirmation, Taurus. I allow courage to prevail as curiosity leads me through new doors. Okay? So that is your angel number. So Taurus, I hope this reading helps you. This is the next 48 hours. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements they may be resonating with you more, okay? And until your next reading, Taurus, many blessings to you, love, and so much light.